We begin tonight with that fiery crash that leaves three people at the 16th Street Viaduct dead. Miriam McCarr has been on the scene all night and Miriam, what are police saying happened minutes before that car flew off the viaduct? Yeah, Shannon, as you can see, there are still some police here investigating the scene, but when we got here at around 630, the entire street was filled with first responders and fire trucks and police told us tonight that just before that car flew off of the bridge, they were trying to pull it over in a traffic stop. Now I spoke to one woman who was up there on the bridge driving when it happened and says that that car was just inches away from hitting her own. Mimi Reza says her and her husband are still in shock from what they saw on their drive home Thursday night. The vehicle was coming from National. Two or three police officers were chasing them. You expected to see it in those in action movies, but I didn't expect that. Police say earlier in the day that car, a Toyota Avalon, was taking part in a drug deal when they tried to perform a traffic stop. The car then drove away from police toward the 16th Street viaduct before crossing the median there and hitting a woman walking. The reckless driving is definitely a problem in our city and our officers are out, are out there trying to safely combat it every night. Reza said the speeding car missed hers by inches before it lost control and drove off the bridge. You just hear the screeching, the banging and then just the explosion. Officials say the fallen car caught fire at the bottom of the viaduct. The three people inside the vehicle died at the scene. For Reza, the close call experience isn't one she'll forget. I'm still shaking. I'm still shaking that it happened. And it's still, you know, fear of driving sometimes. Because <laughs> you never know when it's going to happen. Now, police say the woman who was hit was an 18 year old from Milwaukee who was taken to the hospital with minor injuries, but she's expected to survive. And as for the three suspects who died in the car, police say they believe they were three men, but they haven't been identified yet. For now in Milwaukee, Miriam McCarr for TMJ4 News. Miriam, thank you.